Hey you guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming for the week of July 5th to the 11th and oh, I got all my stuff over here. I am using this Marvel kit um, from two different shops. So the full boxes are from Pink Leaf Prints and then all of like the functional stuff here um, is from Pink Planner Shop. Sorry, I have like something in my throat. Hold on, let me drink some water. Okay, I'm back, that was weird. Um, I have, by the way, I think I said in like the last Playing With Me video, um, and if you watch my vlogs, I was like talking about my throat. I did finally like call like the doctor or whatever, like the teledoc virtual appointments, and I have tonsillitis. And tomorrow, Sunday, I am filming this. It is July 3rd, so the day before 4th of July, but tomorrow is my last day on the antibiotic, but I still can't drink, so. Oh well, um, I will survive. But anyways, back to this kit. So um, yeah, the full boxes are from Pinkly Printables and then everything else is from Pink Planner Shop. I will have both shops in the description box as well as coupon codes if you guys are interested. And the reason why, also too, I did upload a tutorial on Saturday. So this will be like in the past for you by the time you see this. So if you wanna know, um, how to crop peak leaf printables because I did have a comment that cropping her stuff was a little bit diff difficult and I will say it's very different. I've never had to crop um, a sticker kit like how I've done hers before and I think I've cropped like six different shops. Um, so it was definitely different. Um, but I did do a tutorial on how I cropped. I also did some like sticker magic with this box because this was a Batman cup and I don't know if you guys can tell but everything in here is Marvel, not DC. And so I couldn't have a Batman cup hiding in here because, you know, that would be DC. Um, so yeah, I chose Pink Leaf Printables. Um, I'm sorry guys, I'm just like showing you this and not even planning, I'm just like too busy talking. And then here's the second page. I also got a bunch of character stickers. I bought them from Cut Cut Mania. I will link them in the description box as well. Um, and then this is just like extra stuff for a kit in a couple of weeks. So let's just get planning, shall we? I also have other stuff uh, pulled that I'll need for the week. And then I also pulled out some rainbow foil. I was trying to decide what foil I wanted and I saw the rainbow and I was like, oh wait, this is gonna be banging. So this is what I'm using. I'm excited. I feel like using rainbow foil can be like hard to find art where rainbow foil looks good. And I feel like it'll work. And the foil is from uh, Scribble Prints Co. So I'm excited to lay this down and I will talk as we plan. Cause I realized I was just like blabbing my mouth and not putting stickers down. You guys probably were like, okay, we saw it. Put the damn stickers down. So my bad y'all. Um, but anyways, yeah, if you guys watched the crop with me, you're going to hear me repeat myself, so I apologize. Um, but hopefully you guys don't mind listening to it again. Um, but yes, so I chose the Pink Leaf Prints. I don't know if it's Pink Leaf Prints or Pink Leaf Printables. Um, I'm not sure how her shop is. I do know her shop. She has a printable shop. And then she also has a shop where if you want to buy a kit from her, she can print and cut it and like, you know, mail it to you. She does have that as an option. And I know on some of her kits, like she draws her own art. However, I don't think she sells her art. Um, but anywho, so I went with her because she, all of her boxes are Marvel. So she had two different kit options. She had strictly a Marvel and then a DC. And we are obsessed with Marvel. Marvel is big in our family. And my husband's obsessed as well. Um, well, yeah, we all are. Uh, especially my husband. He's got an Iron Man tattoo. So I feel like if that doesn't say obsessed, I don't know what does because who the hell gets an Iron Man tattoo unless you really love that fool. And my husband does. Um, so, Anyways though, but Alondra is obsessed with Black Widow. Black Widow is her favorite Avenger. She just loves her so much. She was devastated when she died and was like low key, like done. <laughs> low key, you know, like 
L-O-W-K-E-Y, but like low-key, like L-O-K-I, you know, Thor's brother. If you're watching low-key, oh my god. I digress. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> my nerd flag is flying high right now. So, um, anyways, uh, she was, yeah, kind of like pissed at Marvel when Black Widow died. Um, she was not happy. And she likes her with short blonde hair, not as a redhead, which I think is kind of funny. Um, but anyway, she has like a preference with her, with Black Widow. So, anyways, though, um, since this week on July 9th, uh, Black Widow does come out. So, very excited about that. Disney's almost like pushed back that release, I feel like, a hundred million times. Like, it was supposed to come out last year because of the pandemic, it changed. And then Disney said it was gonna come out in May on Disney Plus, and then it changed again because like movie theaters and places were starting to open. So I don't know if it's still gonna be on Disney Plus. I think you pay like 30 bucks is how it has been. And then you can like watch, you know, like new release movies. I don't know if it's still gonna be on Disney Plus or just in theaters. Um, and we're still trying to decide what we're gonna do, if we're gonna go to the movies to watch it or we're gonna just pay the 30 and watch it at home. I mean, it would be cheaper to do that. But you know, it's like the the memory, or not the memories, it's like it's creating memories. It's like the experience of going to a movie theater and we haven't been to a movie theater since December. And the reason why, but it was different because we went because her Girl Scout troop um, rented out the movie theater and that's how they had, we watched like the Polar Express, which was a very boring movie. Like no offense if you like it. But we watched Polar Express um, and then like they had like their rewards, you know, like they're kind of like they got all their patches and stuff. So anyways, um, that's why we went. So, I mean, it was nice to be in a movie theater again when we did go, but you know, it's, it's a little bit different. It's not the same experience. So <clears throat> anyways though, I don't know, we're still like to be determined deciding on that. But it, I don't know, I've, we've gotten kind of used to also just like watching movies at home and just having like a big old movie night and just, I don't know, making it, you know, fun at home too. So we are gonna watch it this week though. I mean, Alondra's been waiting forever. You know, she's been waiting a year for this movie to come out. She's been so excited about it. And I am too, I'm excited to see like how Black Widow became Black Widow because they don't talk a whole lot about her storyline. I mean, you get like bits and pieces, but with the movie, you actually get some information about her family. So I'm excited to like hear about that. And I'm definitely excited for all the action scenes because Black Widow is a badass. Um, she's not my favorite. She actually used to be my favorite. And then once they introduced Wanda, I became obsessed. Wanda is my favorite. I love her. And I loved her before WandaVision. So don't try to come at me and say, oh, I just like her because of WandaVision. No, I loved her before that. Which I'm very curious with the new Avengers movie. What is going to happen with her? I'm not going to spoil anything, but just saying. Um, so anyways, yeah. So Black Widow comes out this week. Very excited. And then also on July 9th, that is Alondra's half birthday. We are not like big half birthday people. I don't know, but like a launch. She must have, have heard it somewhere because that's all she talks about. She keeps going like my half birthday is July 9th. My half birthday is July 9th. Like she talks about it a lot. And I'm, a part of me is like a little bit freaking out. Like, damn, is she expecting like presents and a party or something? Because like, we don't do that for half birthdays. Does anybody do that for birthdays or half birthdays? Excuse me. Let me know. Are you guys like all about your half birthday? Cause Alondra is like all about it. But the good thing though, is that since Black Widow comes out July 9th, I can be like, this is your Black Friday present. I don't know why I said Black Friday, y'all. I think because Black, Black Widow, and Friday, but I meant half birthday present. <laughs> Seeing Black Widow. So I don't know, it just felt like the stars aligned and the universe came together because, you know, her favorite Avenger, that movie's coming out on July 9th, and her half birthday's July 9th. So it's like, Black Widow did it for Alondra. You know, not really, but you know, that's how I like to think of it. I don't know. I just think it worked out perfectly. So to commemorate, because honestly, I had a hard time deciding on July kits. I'll be honest. I'm not the biggest fan of summer kits. I feel like they're pretty boring. Um, 
Oh, sorry, I just got a text message. I might not be able to finish this. I might go to Hobby Lobby with my friend. Um, but um, well, which I need to tell Alondra then to get ready. I I'm still in pajamas. I need to get ready myself. What time is it? It's one o'clock and I'm in jammies. I know, but I've been productive AF today. I've been on my shit, so proud of myself. Um, where'd my, here it is. Thank you. Dang, what was I even gonna talk about? I don't remember. What color goes here? Oh, that is my text messages coming in. So this is blue. Oh my God, I literally was reading the text message and I just had a brain fart. That is the worst. Have you all experienced that? I don't know. Um, yeah, I have no idea y'all what the hell I was even gonna say. That is frustrating. <laughs> Okay, I know this is like random to do a voiceover in the middle of this plan with me, but um, this part here, I was literally repeating myself from what I said earlier. Um, and I feel like I was just like a rambling mess. I feel like I'm normally kind of like a mess, but I feel like I'm a mess with like putting stickers down. I felt like I was on point with my stickers to, you know, this plan with me. But I feel like I was just talking about half birthdays, Black Widow, and Marvel, and this art. And I felt like I kept saying it a lot. So I apologize. Um, also, too, I realized I never said happy 4th of July. I know this is going to be after 4th, but the life I'm living right now, it is the day before. So happy 4th of July, y'all. I hope you had a great weekend. Oh, this was going to summer art. I was a little hesitant about using this art, though, for this week. Um, I was going to save this. I was actually going to use this for um, Father's Day week. And then uh, Planner Pixie Co. came out with exclusive Father's Day art. So I decided not to use this art um, for that week. I was like, okay, perfect. I will just wait. Um, and then, hold on. Why does this look so... This is high. Why do these... Why are these full boxes seem so high? I'm going to have to leave a gap. That is odd. I've never had to leave a gap before. Mm, I think only one time I've done a gap. Were her boxes not the 1.5 size that they usually are? Huh. How bizarre. I don't know. Uh, this is really weird to me. I've never had a gap before. So I never checked too to see if her dimensions are not 1.5. But I did everything the way I normally would, so I do not know. Um, okay, well, I don't know, y'all, because I'm a little bit confused. Um, so I was going to use this for Father's Day week. I pushed it, and then I was like, okay, well, I'll use this because there's a guy drawn right here. And this guy actually has a beard, which is just amazing. You can't tell. Um, because his face is cut off, but my husband has a beard. So I was like, oh my God, if this kit was not made for my man, for our family, and then I don't even know. Um, I guess it doesn't look so bad with the gaps. Um, but anyways, so yeah, that just got me like so freaking excited. I'm just like going on and I realized that my memory card ran out of memory, which sounds kind of like an oxymoron. Um, but yeah, so I'm sorry. I don't know where this stopped recording at. Um, I was just putting down the bottom washi and I realized that I had to leave a gap because for whatever reason, um, this doesn't go down to the line like it normally does. So I was kind of confused like, okay, does this mean that the boxes are not the normal regular size? I don't know. I put this down crooked. Um, so I feel like you couldn't have missed much more than that. But um, I was talking also about when I was going to use this art. I was going to use it for Father's Day. And then I decided to push it till my husband's birthday, um, which is in November. And then I know I decided I was going to use it for the premiere of Black Widow. Because I don't know. I mean, tell me what you guys think about summer art. I just feel like it's all the same shit you know like and i'm not hating <clears throat> on artists because i can't do what artists do you know what i mean i don't have that kind of talent at all whatsoever but i just wish it would be a little bit more than just you know at the pool 
at the beach. Like, why is this going down crooked? What is happening, fam? Um, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just feel like it's very redundant. It's just like the same, like, basically art over and over and over again for like a whole month. You know, at the pool, at the beach. I don't know. I just feel like it's very the same. So, I just wish there was more, more to it, you know? I don't know. A little bit more variety in the summer kits. So, I was just like on the struggle bus because I was like, well, I guess I'll just use a random ass summer kit even though I'm not like loving them all. And then it hit me. I Actually, it hit me last plan with me. I don't know if you guys watched that one. And what the F? Okay, I'm getting frustrated. Why is this crooked as hell? Um, but yeah, it hit me while doing that plan with me. Like, I don't know. I just was randomly talking. And then I was like, wait, Black Widow. So I was like, score. That's what I'm going to do. So anyways, I don't know. Are you guys, do you guys feel the same way about summer art? Again, not hating, not talking ish, because I cannot do what these artists do. But I don't know. Summer art is not my fave. Just saying. Sorry, guys. I was talking to Alondra and I got distracted. Um, and I need to switch this around. I realized because my colors. I only mess with this damn glitter header how many times? And I need to change it. Um. So, anyways. Um, I feel like this is such like a long ranty video about why I'm using this kit, but I don't know. Do you guys ever like to know like what someone is thinking or like why they choose a kit or why they, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I like it. I like to hear like why people chose a kit for that week. I mean, some people could just choose it just because, you know, they like the art, they like the kit, you know, I feel like that's why most of us, but it's also fun when you can kind of like hear a little bit of like a backstory or like something fits with the week. So it all ended up working out perfectly and I am excited that, you know, I'm able to use this art because it's also fun for me anyways, I think it is, when you can use like a kit that matches like what is going on in that week, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. But, all right, so I'm deciding to use like this Black Widow sticker. Again, that is from Cut Cut Mania to mark Alondra half birthday. I was gonna use like a person with a cake, but I just feel like, you know, I might as well use Black Widow here. And I have a little one cut too, so I can use that for like the movie marquee whenever we actually watch it. But I just feel like that's perfect because that's Alondra's favorite. Um, and then I do wanna do, Ugh, I know I need to stop. It is so hard when you're like in the middle of planning for me anyways, because it's like, I don't want to stop. I just want to keep going and just finish what I'm doing, but I'm going to have to pause. Um, but I'm going to attempt. Oh, that is Alondra on her karaoke machine. Oh Lord. I don't know if you guys hear that. Um, I am going to go ahead before I forget and just go ahead and put this down. I'm excited about this rainbow wiggle. Because I just feel like, well, number one, I love when I can use up a whole sheet of stickers. That just is very exciting to me and like trash. Um, I always think of Forky whenever I say that. Trash. But I don't know. I just never thought I would get to use the rainbow like wiggle again. I feel like there's not like a ton of like rainbowy type kits. But this kit is just perfect for it. I'm not gonna go like, I don't think, like all out foil, just, just just a little bit, just like a little touch, you know, for funsies. And then I do have these half cut headers, and I mean, honestly, when would I ever use half cut headers? I won't, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and just put these on the glitter headers and the sidebar, just to add a little extra foil. Did I say too that the base of this kit, I don't think I did. The base of this kit is um, from Pink Planner Shop. I don't recall if I did. Um, so the full boxes are pink leaf printables and then the base, so like the colors, um, you know, that you see is from, what color was that? That was like a blue, 
Uh, is there anywhere? Oh, I like this yellowy red. Okay, I'm gonna go, because this one was green. Blue, okay, I'm gonna use this yellow in the middle, because I like that. There we go. Yeah, I just like Seep's functional stuff. I will say, and this is no shade to, to Seep, um, that's the shop owner of Pink Planner Shop. This like weekly is not my fave, and this is an older kit, so they um, her weekly boxes are different. They look like this, which I prefer a lot more, um, but it's all good in the hood. And also too, with the green in the kit, um, I loved this green color glitter header, but I did notice that like with her, I don't know, like the boxes and stuff, the green was like a very light green. Oh, I didn't print anything for the habit tracker. So I will print a little script to put over there. I've been having it as read, but I'll be honest, I've been doing awful with reading, so I might change that to something else. Um, okay, perfect. My friend said let's leave in about 30 minutes. So that'll give me enough time just to finish this base. I just wanna do the numbers at the top, and then I will pause and we will do the day by day. And then maybe I'll have my shit together because I feel like I'm all over the place, but like also what is new? Um, so yeah, I might put exercise. However, I'm like annoyed with myself because I actually exercised uh, the week before last, not the week that I'm living. This is the fifth, right? Yeah. And I did really good. I think I exercised like four days, which is good for me considering um, I haven't exercised in a month, maybe longer. So, um, I didn't do any exercise this week though. So I'm kind of like, oh, Brittany. But you know what? It is Saturday only. The like, the life I'm living, filming Brittany life. It is only Saturday. So I could technically exercise today and Sunday. Maybe I'll write that on my little to-do list, you know? Even if I just do like a lazy girl workout, which I love the lazy girl workouts. Like it's better than nothing. Oh, I love these like, even though they're not technically rainbow, they are the red color and I love the red in this kit. I just feel like they look so good. Um, so yeah, this is all SPC. And then I have some more half cut headers to use. Who knows, maybe there'll be another kit that comes out. Um, I do have these like foiled bits, but I'm gonna wait to use them um, until I do the deco at the top. And you know, just for funsies, because why not? I have the weekend banner, let's just use it. Hopefully I don't need a, um, should I put it down here? I don't know, I really like the weekend banners up here. Like I noticed people are like doing that and I like that, so we're gonna do it. Hopefully that's centered, but I'm really bad with that, so maybe not. But yeah, I just think that's really cute and hopefully I won't need an extender, but I'll just like, I don't know, make one up as we go. But okay, so this is where I'm gonna stop just because I do wanna get ready and that way, um, you know, I'm not like rushing through and I feel like that's why I'm kind of like mumbo jumbled because I'm trying to rush. Um, so this is what the base is looking like so far. So I will be back to film the day by day um, in a second. Okay, I am back. It's been a couple of hours. It's still Saturday the 3rd, um, but anyways, let's go ahead and go with the day by day. I'm so excited. I went to Hobby Lobby with my friend and I found the last pieces that I needed for, okay, not that I needed, that I wanted, ooh, let me put this on silent, for Alondra's bedroom and I am just super, super excited. Um, I am in the middle of not really redecorating her room because I'll be honest, she's got all the furniture, but she has like two things on the wall. Her room is not necessarily decorated. It's just she's got furniture. Um, and that's pretty much it and a lot of damn toys. <laughs> but anyways though, um, so I'm excited. I feel like I tried a couple of months ago to like buy stuff for her room and I just didn't really find anything, like anything. I, and I was kind of like confused too. Like I didn't really know what I really, wanted her room is very pink and white and unicorn and rainbows and clouds and i was just like 
I wanted to add in some other things to like, I don't know, just bring some more dimension, I guess. So I'm glad I really got it or that I finally kind of, I don't know, it just like randomly popped in my head and I just knew what I wanted. So I'm really excited about it, but okay. I am gonna do, should I do red? Yeah, I guess we can. Why not? So um, the first thing that I put up was an upload sticker. Two, three, four, maybe? Two, three, four. Huh. Well, I always get nervous about this, but we're just gonna, we're gonna make it work. Um, so the first thing that I posted, posted, that I put was um, the upload, which will be this Plan With Me video. This right here is gonna be for my husband and I, this is our month anniversary of being married. And it's very exciting because it'll be six years next month. August 5th is our wedding anniversary. And I'm gonna use Wanda. I almost wanna put like Wanda and Vision together because I don't know, I think that would be kind of cute. But I'm just gonna use the Wanda character. I did pull out um, like the Once More With Love like couple sticker, but I was like, you know what? Let's just use like the Avengers. I have a ton to use, so let's do that. So that is everything for Monday. I don't really have a lot. Um, then on Tuesday, the only thing I have is that it is my nephew's birthday. Um, and I just made this sticker here. I did a green because green is his favorite color. But of course, this is green here. I don't know why I like birthdays and bill dues to be at the bottom, but I'm just gonna put the little thing like right here. Um, I feel like that works. And I don't know if I said this earlier when I was doing like the base, but I did change this color to be a darker green because her glitter headers, I like the color of the glitter headers, but like the, the green color with her boxes and stuff were a very light, light muted green. And I felt like it looked odd with these glitter headers. So I did change the color of the green and the boxes um, to be a darker green and I like it a lot more. So this glitter header must be crooked because whatever, we're just gonna, we're gonna leave it like that and it's fine. So that is for my nephew's birthday. <clears throat> um, on Wednesday, Alondra has swim lessons, and then it is the Harry Potter pre-order, which I am so excited about. I am gonna use a cute, I'm gonna use this box. Um, although it is a lot of red and blue. Nah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'll use a blue box on another section. Um, so yeah, I, oh, I'm so excited. So, oh no, my battery's dying, hold on. Okay, I got a fresh battery. I wanna move this down just, just a smidge. Um, but yes, yeah, so this day is the, the start of the, oh, wow, that took up a lot of paper. Awesome, not really. Um, but it is the start of the Harry Potter pre-order and it is with Scentsy. I don't know if I said that, um, but Scentsy now has a, um, a contract with one with Warner Brothers just like they have with Disney and so the first Warner Brother item to come out is Harry Potter so they're doing a warmer and then they're also doing the bars four bars and it's all the houses and it's gonna be like in a, a suitcase trunk and it's gonna have like the wax seal envelope and oh my god I'm gonna get the whole bundle the warmer and the wax so it's a pre-sale from the 7th to the 14th but you don't get your item until February, which I know is a long time. I'm not excited about it either. I'm gonna have to do her this way, even though I wanna cover up that rip. Uh, but I really think she looks better facing this way. This is from um, Fox and Cactus. I'm just gonna put it this way, cause I just, she looks better that way, so I gotta do it. Um, so yeah, these are like the Gryffindor girls. I got them from, the SPC planner party, like in a D stash. I am a Ravenclaw, but <clears throat> hey, they were free. So I was gonna take them and it matches the spread. So I feel like I never get to use these stickers and I actually used it this week. And then I also did use it um, last week down here. We ended up watching Harry Potter, me and my daughter. So, um, but yeah, so I'm so excited for 
the pre-order. Um, so I believe it's $15 if you want to get the bars and the warmer, like the whole bundle. And it's 15 bucks, and then when it's ready to ship, you'll get notified to pay the rest of like your invoice, and then you pay the rest of it. So it's nice. You don't have to put up all the money like at once. Um, so yes, I'm, I'm just, I'm excited y'all. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I am very excited about it. And you have from the 7th to the 14th. Um, and they did say that they will try to have some release like in February of 2022 when the pre-order ships like they'll ship those first and if there's extras they will put them for sale so if you're like freaking out and you want it i highly suggest the pre-order um and i will put my website in the description box so if you guys want to check it out um and you know pre-order it through me it's appreciated obviously you don't have to but i will put that there if you guys are interested um so one one two and then one do I like, yeah, I'm gonna use the yellow. I mean, there's like yellow is not an accent color. However, it works like the pizza is yellow. I mean, the water's blue and her little hat is green. So I'm just gonna make it work. And I only have one left. So I really just wanna use it. You know, I didn't even, I could always make her go to swim lessons on Monday. She did that last week. She went twice, she went Monday, Wednesday. And then I can just use up this whole dang sheet. I might do that. I might call and see if they have any openings on Monday. I would try for Saturday, but you guys will see Saturday. We are going to be busy. Um, so anyways, that is just for swim lessons for Alondra and the swim script. I did make myself and that is from once more with love. So that is everything for Wednesday. Moving on to, oh, I got nothing, nothing. And okay, I guess the next thing I have isn't until Saturday. I do have a bill due, so going, uh, I think I gotta bend it. There we go. So I do have a bill due, so I'm gonna mark that. And then Alondra has a cheer event. It's two hours, it's in the morning, and it's like a cheer clinic, kind of like a camp. Um, and so yeah, it is in the morning. So I haven't decided though to like drop her off. I don't know, that just makes me nervous to like leave her. I'm not like at that level where I'm like comfortable with with that. So I don't know. But it is two hours, so it'll be like I don't know, they're calling it like a clinic, so kind of like a camp, but like you know, it's only for a couple of hours. And so she'll get to meet her cheer coach and all the girls on her team. And then she'll also get to meet all the other um, teams as well. Um, Cause they're getting like everyone together and such. So she's really excited for that. And then I think, no, in like two weeks then cheer practice will start back up again. So, wow, that blue matches like perfectly. I would typically try to do a different color. Like I do have a red one. I just threw my tweezers. I have a red one printed. But that's a red glitter header, so I don't like it all to be matchy-matchy. Which is going to be hard for me because I think the next two weeks I'm actually going to attempt color blocking. So we'll see how that goes since I'm not used to the whole like matchy-matchy thing. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start with my deco here. And I will speed this up because I know I'm slow with the deco and a little bit picky. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and then I will be right back. So the deco, there was not a lot, and there wasn't a lot because I only wanted marble deco. So I made it work the best I could. There's a little bit more gaps than like what I would like. I guess I should have made some of these pieces bigger, um, but it's all good. We're working with what we have. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting in these foiled bits here. I'll just use a bunch of them because then I feel like it'll maybe like look a little bit better, just adding more and it'll help 
like kind of like supplement and like fill in some empty spaces and I have two different sheets um but yeah I just love adding in the foiled bits it's literally my favorite thing just feel like it really ties in and just adds to a spread so I'm gonna go ahead and spread these out these are from scribble prints co okay I really need to spread them out a little bit more though I think because <laughs> I think I'm actually okay no I'm fine I guess I'll put these down first and if I have a little extra and I'm excited because I'll get to use up everything on this sheet then so just using up all this rainbow wiggle and then watch I'm gonna be sad when I want to have like more of a rainbow wiggle or like, not more of a, oh my God, Brittany, English. But like, I'm gonna have a kit where I'm like, dang, I wish I didn't use all my rainbow wiggle. But I wonder, I think Andrea, she probably still has this in shop, I don't even know. I should check. But I know like a lot of the stuff, she's been like clearing out because she did change. Didn't she change the format, I think? I think they're like bigger sheets now. Yeah, they are like having a, a brain fart on it. But all right, this is gonna be the last little foiled bit. Love that. And I don't know, I might use, maybe I will use just, I don't know, just for the shits and giggles of it, like use some of like these icons and circle icons just to bring in more. Um, But I guess that's everything. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this plan with me. I absolutely love it. I think it looks so good See like the little just like twinkle at the top. It's just so pretty. I Yeah, I'm so so happy with this. I feel like it works for summer too because it's bright But I also love that it just ties in with her half birthday and then the movie coming out on the 9th I'm just excited. So again, I will have all of the um shops listed in the description box that I used for this kit. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I will be happy to get back to you. But I hope you guys did enjoy this. Sorry, I was all over the place in the beginning, but hopefully you guys don't mind too much. But if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and I will see y'all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.